Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this. Hey, where are you going? This is. <laughs> this is Mystical Skies. Um, so yeah, as you see, we've we've got a visitor, come from the Nether Realm. Uh, yep, he'll apparently be hanging around here for a while. We shall see about that. Anyway. Oh, you're coming out to play, huh? Yeah. All right. So anyway. Let's let's get into this stuff. I've been taking a, a look at, at some things. I ground out a little bit of some of the uh, materials and whatnot. Got a bunch of things uh, in here that I might end up using. Like I made a bunch of crystal catalysts just because it just takes a little bit to, to make those. So I made a whole bunch of the crystals, um, you know, the crystal blocks, so that I can make all the crystals. And I took your guys' advice. If you look in here under resources, you can see that there is one, two, three, four, five cores, plus a sixth row, which contains all the different shards, which has, of course, nine shards. So if I go in a nine across, uh, actually, yeah, I think that's nine, wasn't it? Nine shards? Okay, there's eight shards. I'm wrong. But there's still nine rows in that in that grid, which works really well. There's eight here, and then there's five across here, and then I can actually interact and put these in place. So I'm going to take your guys' advice and do that. And actually, it's pretty darn cool. This way I know when I'm running low, then I can use those things to make more of the same type. Really easy and helpful to figure out how to make this stuff, uh, having a sample already saw, saved here every time. Of course, I've got some resources like netherrack. I've got a whole bunch more. I did do a little bit of mining in the nether, nothing really fancy. I got some more, uh, basically, nether quartz and some glowstone and some netherrack, and, and that was that was pretty much it. There wasn't, wasn't much going on there so my goal for today flight not not actually in the pack or in in the the current quest line is i'm gonna go for angel wings because i think i can manage it and i'm also going to go for a ring of stabilizing which i think is going to help as well this this isn't going to be as useful as one might think but it does eliminate the um the slow mining that uh the the mining fatigue you get when you're mining if you're flying in the air or floating not touching the ground whatever it eliminates that so i figure that'll be pretty useful and they both require a lot of the same materials this is just a whole bunch of gold and a feather and this one here uh, which i want the angel wings just because i don't know those ones are my favorite for some reason but i'm gonna go for those gold uh just some feathers a diamond and fairy dust, which I think fairy dust, soul dust, and mysterious dust, relatively cheap. But it's that diamond that's going to be the difficult part, or at least somewhat in there. So I'm going to look up diamond, and I think I could probably make that because it's, I think they're made with sentient cores. Uh, looking up here, they don't have any really fantastical recipe that's helpful. But of course, the diamond block, yep, is made with coring which then can be made with a block of redstone. So a block of redstone can be made from, oh, a regular coin recipe with netherrack and a shard of the morning star. So let's grab a little bit of this, a shard of the, or is it morning star? So actually let's grab uh, three of these. Actually, let's do four. And I'll show you why. I've got an idea here. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to grab... Um, uh, so another rack, which actually, as I've got extra of this one, I'm going to grab it from over here. One, two, three, four. And there's an easy way I've found of using this. Oh, uh, at the end of last episode, I forgot. I ended up, uh, getting this, a light core stabilizer, which I think, I think I'm going to use relatively nearby. This has been useful for me getting a whole bunch of leaves and such. Oh, I also expanded the base a little bit. Uh, I put these little platforms up here. And once I'm able to do a little bit of flight, I figure I might be able to uh, kind of smooth out the backsides of these platforms right now. But currently, yeah, I don't know, it looks kind of cool. I liked it. And I thought, you know, I could have these really big platforms off on these corners sticking out. Um, but besides that, I was thinking I need an area that I can actually process these, well, items. And uh, I'm thinking it, it should be relatively close to this before I go too far out. And I don't want it to be here or here because those are going to be kind of like pivot points for going up onto these other platforms. Maybe. It's not like I'm going to really leave them there, but it's the idea of right now I've got a light core stabilizer. I could easily get to a much higher level stabilizer. Let's put this on the list um, and look up the stabilizer. The medium one is going to require redstone, glowstone, and mist rods, which I have. I have... 
I've got four mist rods and a bunch of empty rods here, so that's not a problem. Uh, and a uh, heavy core stabilizer requires mist rods, soul steel, and imprisoned light, plus an Asul machine case, which I should be able to manage that as well. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is get one of each of these, and then what I'll do is I will work, and, and that should complete both of those quests, and then I will actually work on getting a diamond and put the heavy core stabilizer down in a spot that I want it to be, which I think is going to be... Probably, you know, I, that one's just an orange crafting table. I'll probably put it there. And I'll show you the new method that I have for obtaining that. So let's look at, we need, we still need redstone, which means that I can use this core stabilizer in this place. And if it falls through, it's it's no big loss, really. Orange crafting table, it's, it's ugly. Oh, by the way, my wooden laser gun is actually much better than I thought. Um, when used, it actually repairs itself. <laughs> yep, it's pretty cool. So if I put this down, and this will work on the block next to a core, not the core itself. So what you do is you take cores all around it, then you place those with the desired items, and then you can place down your block that you want. Actually, I don't, I don't even need four of them. I only need one. And then I can just stay here. Let's see if I can actually just sneak up here and do this. There we go. Oh, and of course I've got three of them. I can't even throw them away because my my bag, that's really ridiculous. All right, hold on a second. Let's get rid of those three. There. All right. So now I can place this. So if I do this, I just hold down right click and I am transforming four at a time. And this with my uh, light stabilizer actually makes it so that it stays slightly longer. What I want is that heavy stabilizer, which I will need redstone to get the medium one. So that's that's not really too bad of a, a thing to get through here. Come on, you guys could do it. And it, once one of them starts going, then the rest of them are very short distance behind. Because I think there's a certain, yeah, there it is, randomness to it. There we go. And I can now pick up these. I just hit, there we go. Uh, I just hold down uh, or excavate and I can bring all those in and they're good. And that, of course, was red. No, that was here. There we go. Two, three. Actually, I'm going to need one of those and one for some redstone bits, which they look really weird, like some kind of looks like old redstone paste, really. Uh, but I should be able to make this. I need glowstone, which I have a lot of. And I haven't even made any glowstone blocks from the stuff that I got in the nether. But I think I can do that. Yep, that, that unveiled the quest as well. Let's do a couple of those, because I think, not the, not the Akashic Tome, there we go. I think Glowstone is, what, Warm Core and Yellow Shard. So I can do uh, Warm Core, Yellow Shard, and I can put one of those in there for now. I can put the rest back in here. Yeah. Yep. There we go. And then I use these for making the Medium Core, which I need two Mist Rods. I've got the Redstone, uh, so let's grab two of these. And then what else do I need for the medium core? An Asul sheen case. Oh, that should that should be very doable. I will take this out and I will show you this stuff in a minute that I have <laughs> also found since last time. Uh, I have yet to explore this and I think it looks really interesting. So I, I plan to fully explore that as best I can. Well, I don't know. Something like that. So there we go. Asul machine block. So I should be able to make one of these. Medium core stabilizer. Excellent. And then I can throw away the, the light one <laughs> if I so desire. Um, but I think the heavy one is the one I want. I need imprisoned light, which oh, I do have two imprisoned light in here because I, I harvested those last time. Two mist rods, which is not a problem. And then I have... Stop. Stop pushing. Stop pushing. And then I have the others. Let's see how much I have of this. All right, I'm just missing soul steel ingots which is raw soul steel, or is there a soul steel block option? No, there isn't. All right, so raw soul steel is made from metal diamond and soul dust. Whoa. Well, soul dust, I have yet to make any. Uh, that's just some soul sand being crushed. So do I have any excess? I don't. All right, so I will take a little bit of this. We'll do, let's say, 12 for now, because I have no idea how much I really need. I still have my pouch which is fine. Put the pouch in here. Then I am going to throw the soul sand and break the light. Smash. And there we go. 
get this, get in my inventory, and it's all good as we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, my bag. Give me that. Okay. So, excuse me. You're gonna end up in you're gonna end up in the pit before long if you don't watch it. Uh, so with this, I can then make some of the other ingredients I was looking for as well for the uh, angel wings, I believe, because making the diamond blocks is going to be something with making this. I think a soul ingot. I I can't remember. Um, but let's see how far I can go with this because I think that this the heavy core stabilizer is actually farther along than wings and the ring of stabilization. But let's let's see what we can do. I've got the crystal catalyst. So wait, what? That's all it is? I thought I... Hmm. That's weird. Okay. So can I grab one of these and make some more? I think so. Was I looking at the wrong thing there? Because I've got it. Yeah, I've got crystal catalysts already. So then the only thing I'm missing... Oh, these were soul steel ingots. Oh, wait. Is it two different kinds of ingots? Or was I looking at the wrong one? What was I just looking at? Because it wasn't soul steel. That's weird. Oh, it was the machine casing. Gotcha. Okay, and I only have one lapis block. So that means I'm going to need to make more, which I just picked that up from the green cores. Mm, yeah, I'm only going to use two of those. Actually, yes, I hear you, Pigu. Uh, actually, I'll use three, make myself a few lapis blocks, and grab... One, two, three of those. Recipe for this one is prismarine. Oh, oh, or I can use regular lapis. Okay, that works for me. So using the lapis block, I can make more lapis. That That's nice. Um, so then I just need to move this off. And where's the rest of it go? It was here, the blue. There they are. Got them. Okay, I'm just going to make this and I'll be back in a minute. And I totally forgot I had a medium core stabilizer that I could use, so I'm going to be using that. Let's see how good this works in comparison. Oh, that stays so much better. <laughs> I mean, it's not really that bad. I mean, uh, I still can't set it and forget it, but it is less clicking, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm just holding the right click button right now anyway, but it is nice. There we go. All right, sweet. Take all these. I'm going to leave the medium core stabilizer there. I'll put the light one away for now because it's there's no use for that, I don't think. Is there one? I'm not going to paint it into something. Maybe I can use it for aspects. <laughs> that sounds like it might be, might be good later on. Um, all right, so heavy core stabilizer. I was trying to make this machine block, which would require some of lapis, which I now have one, two... Three, I'm going to take one of those, turn it into some lapis bits. And then I should be able to at least make this. There we go. So I now have the machine case, which is going to be useful, just not at the moment. Drop this, this, this in here. Uh, do I have a spot for the, for the redstone in there? Some of this little bits. And I've got another rack that needs to go away. And this orange crafting table, ugh. Seriously, it's going to be the next thing I burn. Um, so let's put that in there. Okay, next. To make this, I need soul steel ingots, which requires raw soul steel, which requires metal diamond, which that requires this. Oh, of course, which will require diamond blocks. So I do have to make diamonds to do that. So let's get some glowstone in here because I think I need that. I got a bunch in my inventory now. In order to do that, I need a bunch of sentient cores, which I can't make that crafting table. Oh, I did make a bunch of lapis. Good. Okay, so let's grab some of this. Turn this into bits as well. And then I think I've got plenty, actually. That's going to get me 24. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff there. Uh, I got to say. I gotta say, that's 24 sentient cores. All right, so that means that I can have one of these here. Now, I don't have the metal core yet. Uh, there's still one more core after the sentient core. There it is. Yeah, metal core, which is stone around a gold ingot, really. Seriously? I, I gotta do that now. So let's just grab a little bit of those. 
And I know I've got some gold in here. Yeah, I've got a gold ingot. So let's just do that. I had no idea that that one was going to be easier. I thought it was going to be tougher. <laughs> okay. And then I can put that in place. And the use for this is for making the different different ores. What do we got? Uh, making aluminum, tin, copper, silver. Okay. Fair enough. Well, at least now that I know that's there. <laughs> that is so weird. I was so expecting a much more complex recipe, but I guess not. Anyway, uh, let's continue trying to make blocks of diamond, which is going to require some of that redstone that I just made and shard of the root of life. So let's go with redstone and shard of the root of life. I'm going to need a couple of those. Uh, actually, let's do four of those. And I only need one of these blocks. I keep thinking that I need more of the blocks of redstone and that I'm sacrificing those, but I'm not. In fact, I'm sacrificing the, the sentient cores. <laughs> uh, all right, so one, two, three, four. And then put this down. One, two, three, four. And then I just stand here and hold right click. And that's pretty much it. I'll be back once I've got some diamond. Yay! All right, I now have it. This is good. Okay, so first, redstone, then diamond. And thankfully, I've got an iron pick, so all is good and right in the world. Now, the diamond, I think uh, that was... I want to put a block in here somewhere. That was regular sentient core, and it was blue. There we go. All right, I can put the block of redstone away for now. I think I can actually... Um, Let's put a couple, let's put those away and I'll just break up the one because I think I need individual diamonds for stuff. <laughs> diamonds. D-I-A-M-O-N-D. Now, the angel wings. I need fairy dust first, which will require a little bit of soul dust, which I already have that. Uh, angel wings. Let's make the fairy dust. All right, that's good for four sets of fairy wings for now, or for uh, angel, or some kind of wings. I will need feathers though. Wait, there were different kinds of feathers. Can I, is it easier to make a phoenix or peacock feather? No. Okay, so the only way to do it is by crushing prosperity shards, for me at least, over here. And prosperity shards, as you may know, are made from empty rods, which I can throw over here. This is why I had so many in there and why my inventory was so jam-packed. So, toss these forward. Bleh. And then break that. Smash. And I get myself a whole bunch of prosperity shards. Sweet. Mine that back up. Put it back in place along with the light. There we go. I still got to figure out how to automate that. That'll be pretty cool once I do. Uh, or once I've got that set up to be a little bit more automatic. Oh, and I forgot my magic pouch. There we go. Can't forget that as much as I complain about the not being able to throw things away sometimes, it's still going to be useful. So I've got fairy dust. I need the uh, feathers, that feather right there. Oh, no, now I need to smash the prosperity shards. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so if I smash half these, that'll get me a bunch of feathers. But I first need to get rid of that. Half these and then break. Smash, and I've got feathers. Sweet. Then I can grab this back, this in place, and dig that up. That was much better this time. <laughs> Often I do it in a really weird order. So there we go. I now have it. I think I've got enough to make the wings now. So let's do this. Oh, oh, it's a beautiful thing. And is it a bobble item? I bet it is. It is. Oh, that's so good. And I need to keep my fire charm, but we're going to get rid of this really weird ancient mask thing that I found. I've got uh, a weird chest of stuff in here. <laughs> but now I have, of course, my Ugu eyes going on here, plus my Moogle hat or Moogle uh, thingamabob and so on. Yeah. Anyway, extended inventory still locked. That's not the button I was expecting. All right. So I can't just fly. Let me look up the controls for wings. All right, there we go. It was the R key as I had thought, but there were several things trying to use it at once. So let's see if it works. I just press R and I should start like laying down. Yep, it works. So I have 
food, right? Yes, I do. I have potato skins. This is important because often flight requires some level of food. Woohoo! All right. Nice. This is why I love the Wings mod. It's so good. Let's turn that, that, that off. And you guys can see. Let's go really high up. Oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty impressive. Um, you can see what it looks like around the base. And then you press uh, the R key again. And you'll actually come in for landing. Oh, it's so good. So good. I love the Wings mod. And on top of that, um, I should have uh, like no fall damage anymore. So let's uh, jump up here. I keep thinking that I need to like jump in the air or something, but this isn't an elytra, so it's not the same way. So if I just jump down from here, hui, yeah, no damage at all. And you can see that my food, let me let go of the potato skins, has pretty much drastically dropped. And food in Hearthwell is, is pretty important. So I did find a recipe that'll work for me, and that's golden carrots. They're basically as good as potato skins. And they're a lot easier to make. So that's probably going to be my main food source once I have exhausted a good portion of this chest, uh, which will be sometime. And I have carrots. They're very easy to make because they're just a bunch of nature essence. And of course, gold. Well, gold is very makeable as well uh, with this. You can make blocks of it with coring recipes on regular shards of Shining Dawn. Or you can go mining in the nether like I have as well. So I've got a little bit of gold in here, is it? Oh no, I used it to make a whole bunch of golden carrots. I made 21 of them already. So yeah, I've got some, some backup food set and ready. Now the ring of stabilizing, I need more gold for. Ew. Well, I guess I'm going to make a bit of that real quick and I'll be right back. And there we go. So now I should be able to mine this up. There, perfect. And of course, I still am using just a medium stabilizing core. It's my objective to try and get to the heavy one, if possible. Um, that is called heavy, right? Yeah, it's heavy. And so now I can put all these back in here. Just take one of them out to give myself some ingots for the moment. There we go. And I have five nuggets in there already, so it shouldn't be a problem. Perfect. Ring of stabilizing. Now to actually use more of the baubles. As you can see, Baubles are slowly becoming, <laughs> slowly pushing out some of the cosmetic items because they're actually going to be more useful. Can I stack thick eyebrows? No. No, I can't, but I can I can make two thick eyebrows in there. So that means that if I'm falling uh, or floating, uh, as it may be, then I still maintain that. Now, it's not really that important right now, but you never know when it might be handy. I wonder if it works underwater. Hmm. Not that I'm going to find that in the nether, but still. The light, no, heavy core stabilizer. Let's put this on here and take the light core off. Heavy core stabilizer. I need soul steel ingots made from metal diamond, which is made from what? Metal diamond block with a sentient core, shard of sacred land, and a block of diamond. Okay, so I've got one of those. And which one is that? That was here. Shard of sacred land. Oh, this one. Okay. Two, three, four. I can make four of those. One, two, three, four. Let's put the rest in here for now. And that should be good. Um, that I'm pretty happy about that. And I can just... Whee! <laughs> Though it is a bit scary to try and land on here. But if I miss the edge, I just fly back up. I just swoop. It's not like a, a, an elytra where you need the, um, uh, you know, the fireworks or something like that. You just need food. So that shouldn't be a problem. Now, one, two, three, four, and I'll be back in a minute. And there we go. Uh, ooh, somebody got the Grim Reaper? Use the bones of summoned creatures to craft a magic cog. Wow, that sounds quite creepy and excellent at the same time. All right, mine that. Can I mine this with it? Yes, I can. Excellent. I have now done another achieve which I'm finding this to be pretty good so far. This is very, very rewarding. Um, so metal diamond was here. I'm going to need at least one of those, right, to make this? To make soul steel? Yeah, to make those ingots? I think so, yeah. So I can put that away, keep this one out, turn it into metal diamond ingots, and then I think I can make these soul steel ingots by making this, which that makes four. 
Oh, one, two. That's perfect. Okay, so then I can smelt these up, put these in here, and just to get rid of this table, we're going to put those in there and grab these crystal blocks that I've been smelting up. There we go. I've got a bunch of those. Because, <laughs> uh, well, if anything, they're really cool transparent blocks. I mean, just being able to see through this is pretty darn neat. Um, at some point, oh, you know what? I could actually go, yeah, I could go fly down to this this island down here. Let's do that. <laughs> and I will go and land on this tree, and I could shoot these. Yeah, pew, pew. Oh, my gosh, there's too many squishes noises. There's so much. Don't don't stop shooting. Just just keep killing them. They must all die. <laughs> so this this gun doesn't do much damage. What does it do? Three point five attack damage. <laughs> but it seems to be getting the job done here. I mean, I I really wouldn't want to be down there killing these things at the moment. And my gun is almost broken too. But it might be able to repair itself if I give it enough time. <laughs> before any of this happens. There's a lot of dudes down there. Okay. So let's just shoot the rest of them. Okay, that worked really well. Now they, they've they got a whole bunch of drops too. I'm just going to grab the, the rest of this slime because it'll probably be pretty useful. Ow, don't hit me. That hurt. And I'm going to fly back home. <laughs> oh, nice. And come in for a nice... Soft landing. Oh, that was beautiful. I got like almost two stacks of slime balls <laughs> that I can use to make slime blocks and magma creams and stuff like that. Oh, nice. Nice. I'm pretty happy about that. I've got a metal diamond ingot that's left. Okay. And for that, these soul steel ingots are now cooked. Oh, I only cooked one of them. Ha. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I think I still have enough to complete what I'm looking to do. Uh, this. Yep. Heavy core stabilizer. Done. All right. That is what I'm talking about. So if I really want, I can... Wait, which one is this? That's a heavy. Put this here. I could make one for uh, the medium as well. Put that nearby. But I wonder if I put a bunch of heavy ones, if I like chained them all together, if you could put one and then it like made stuff for another and then that made stuff for another and then that made stuff for another. That would be interesting. Of course, I'd have to line them all up. But anyway, <laughs> I was thinking about like uh, I could feasibly have like a line of these together that are like all along here and then have a line of di like uh, the block that I need to change it to and just use a wand to place them, you know, like uh, uh, the there it is, like an iron wand to place stuff. But I don't know. So let's put this uh, medium core away for now as well. Those aren't really going to be too useful to me at this point. I can put this away, this away. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to put away. Oh, and I've got fairy dust aplenty. How are my wings doing? Oh, the damage on them is very minor. That's good to see. I still have my fire charm as well. So <laughs> I feel like I'm some kind of like white knight because this iron armor is very white. Is there silver armor perhaps? Well, I mean, I could make some but I don't think it'd be quite as useful. Eh, nope, that's all right. This works. I can be some kind of like iron-plated uh, angel of moogleness. So <laughs> let's get into the next bit here, I think is uh, going to be the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, now that I have a little bit of flight, I think this will make exploring in the nether a little bit more interesting as well as other dimensions. Oh my gosh. Uh, and I might even see about... Now, I can't make any more of those magic pouches without uh, getting into Thomcraft. So we're going to try collecting a bunch of these uh, rewards that I got. I'll open them up and we'll see what we got next time. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Come visit us on Twitch most nights around 10 p.m. We'll see you there. Bye.